Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris with the Grill Gunfighter and Buckshot University and we have a really different uh, video today. Um, we're cooking stuff. Right now, uh, I just finished these. It's going to be, I guess, sort of the hors d'oeuvres, if you want to call them that. Uh, just bacon wrap stuffed jalapenos. Um, they're all yummy. That's all it is. Uh, take a jalapeno, cut it in half, uh, use a spoon or knife to seed it out and um, get all the veins and all the seeds out. If you want a little extra heat, keep the uh, a few of the seeds in, but pull the veins and stuff out. No one, a little heat's fine, but if you can't taste your food, it's crap. So um, cut them in half, scoop all the stuff out, then fill it with cream cheese. Just a regular old Philadelphia cream cheese will work. Then wrap it in half a piece of bacon and put a toothpick through it. I'm going to throw these on the oven here in just a second, or in the um, on the grill here in just a second. But got another course to go. One moment. All right. We're also doing quail. So I never cooked quail before, so it's going to be definitely something different that uh, I've never tried and this is quail shot or harvested here in Georgia from a farm and today helping me with my cooking is my wonderful Oppenel number eight Justin Mateer and uh, go ahead and cut this dude open and we'll just sit this aside now, uh, I'm also have my cookbook thing open right here. So, these guys also require a marinade, and that's what we're going to be doing is making a marinade for these. So they sit for about an hour. So, in our marinade, we need one quarter cup of red wine. I got whatever was in the fridge. I don't know how you people drink wine. This shit is awful. Oh my god. So, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. A quarter cup. There we go. And a quarter cup of olive oil. So, all right. There we go. A quarter cup of that stuff. And this is just extra virgin olive oil. Um, I mean, I really don't cook with olive oil much. And let's see what else we got. Two cloves of crushed garlic. Well, I don't have fresh garlic, so I got this dried sliced stuff. It'll rehydrate in the marinade, so I'm not really worried about it. And um, this is sliced stuff, so it should work pretty well. It says two cloves. We're just going to sort of. That's probably much, but there we go. I like garlic anyway. So, cloves of garlic, and it says two teaspoons chopped fresh rosemary and sage. Well, I have no fresh chopped rosemary and sage, but I got the next best thing, which is the Italian seasoning. And it's got thyme, oregano, majorum, basil, rosemary, and sage, so that'll work. And we'll put, yep, that seems about right. And what else we got? Some salt, oops, salt, oops. So some salt. And some pepper. Salt and pepper's here! You know, it's the it's a song. I kind of dig it. And then uh, put all this stuff in a Ziploc bag. Just like that. And then we're going to add our quail. One and two and three and quattro. That's Mexican for four, so if you didn't know. All right, take some air out of this thing and sort of give it a a little bit of a mix. You know, these guys all happy and junk. 
and we're going to let this sit. It says for an hour, so 1830. Pull these off, wrap them in a strip of bacon, and we'll put them on a grill. I'm going to show you guys how we do that, and um, just stay tuned. So we'll be right back. Thanks.